some natural materials more interesting. I like the textures and subtlety of them. And I think it goes back to my love of the landscape and nature. In the landscape, I tend to like things that are more subtle and textural, even in gardens, rather than bright colors. So I think natural materials in my work stems from that. I'm lucky enough to have my mom help me with some of my work some days each week. I started out my career as a landscape architect because I was interested in ecology and design and the natural world. And now that I'm working strictly as an artist, I'm also bringing those elements into the art I'm doing. One of the series I'm working on is a collection called Trace, Retrace. There are three dresses in the collection, and this collection is inspired by a specific farm landscape in western Minnesota, and I'm working from the maps and history of that farm. This is the shape of the Chippewa River at this location in western Minnesota, and it's where my great-grandma and grandpa grew up. My great-grandpa lived on this side, the west side. They're the ones with the prairie fire. And my great-grandma grew up on this side, the safe side. I'm using bison wool, and I love working with it as a native species, and specifically documented on this exact farm site. The original dresses came from the idea of doing an installation based on a short story called The Hungry Girls by an author named Patricia Aikens. I wanted to depict these characters from her story. They were giantesses that were living and working on a farm, eating everything in sight, eating the soil. They lived a very simplistic life. When I was rereading the short story, there was just one part of it where the characters were all fighting over one nightgown. And it was the only pretty thing in their life. And that's when I decided a nightgown might be a good way to represent the characters. I wanted to show the wild nature of these characters, just living by their instincts. Momenta Animale was an exhibition of the Hungry Girls pieces, just a room with nine eight-foot pieces hanging from horse yokes that you would just walk through these pieces towering above you. Once I started working on the project, it kind of went beyond just the story, and I started just thinking about life in general, growing old, having children, how the landscape changes over time, how we change over time with our experiences. This is one of the 10 dresses that I'm making this year. It's a really simple design. It's just made from one piece of fabric, and all I need to do is sew the sides. I haven't even cut out the neck holes yet. I'll do that after I dye each piece, and that will be based on the inspiration of the waterway at that site. I was awarded a 2014 Minnesota State Arts Board grant. I chose 10 ecological sites across the state of Minnesota. The first site I'm visiting is Gray Cloud Dunes, where I am eco-dyeing a dress. Eco-dyeing is dyeing fabric with natural materials. I think what's really interesting about Gray Cloud Dunes is that fire is very important to that site. We were there right after the prairie burn, so there was all that terrific ash there. And then the fact that it's right on the Mississippi River. What an amazing place that is. A lot of the sites I'll be going to this summer are very pristine and very very wild, very remote. But this one is really close to the city and, and the river, so I found that really interesting and a good balance for the project. What I'm doing with eco-dyeing is bundling leaves and fallen vegetation in the fabric and letting it seep. I'm gonna leave it there for three weeks.
always really cool to be by the Mississippi River. Makes me think of the human history at the site and geologic history. That whole area just being formed by what's gone on for so long there. I'm just hoping the site will have a say in what these pieces end up looking like. I'm planning on embellishing the piece with more ideas about the site with cutting and stitching. And each one will be different and be inspired by that site. I'm hoping that each garment will actually be somewhat like a poem of that site. My education in landscape architecture was actually perfect for me. Learning about plants, native plants, geology, soils, site analysis. And all those things are really helpful with the work I'm doing.